huge female brown recluse, Loxoselles reclusa. Take a look at that. A tyrantula. Is that not a spectacularly big brown recluse? All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm on the hunt for brown recluse. Brown recluses, brown recluse. And we're hoping to show you guys just how docile and interesting these spiders are. I have already done a video on the bite of brown recluse. If you're interested in watching that first, it's gonna be in the description below or I'll tag it somewhere in the video. However, if you would like to stick around and watch me capture some brown recluses, you're in the right place. So hang around and let's catch one of America's most feared species of spider. Let's go. Today, our adventure takes us to some beautiful forested areas in McKinney, Texas. All right guys, check this out. Look at this huge fruiting body of woodier fungus and look, Jiggly. Isn't that weird? It's like troll ears or something. Look at this one. Now these are the fruiting bodies of the fungus. So the mycelium, the main part of this fungus, is inside this tree and it is decaying and feeding on that dead matter. So you can see how it's on this part of the tree that is dead. This tree is actually dead. So it's not a parasite, but it is breaking down dead material. Really cool. A few more slaps for the road. Let's move on. Okay guys, we found a huge one. So I'm gonna try and catch it really quick. Huge female brown recluse, Loxoselles reclusa. We were just trying to like peek into some of these little bits of bark and this sucker came running out. So let's see if I can catch her in this test tube. Oh! Come back, come back. Oh, there she is. Wow, look at the size of this spider, guys. So freaking huge. Oh. Take a look at the size of this brown recluse. Oh, that thing is huge, huge gravid female. Absolutely massive gravid female. Now, a lot of people think that the brown recluse causes these huge, nasty, necrotic bites, but that's actually a myth. Um, the majority of those have been uh, misidentified as these spider bites, and um, there's primarily bacterial infections that get into the skin that can be caused by really any break in the surface of the skin. If you guys are interested in learning more about brown recluse bites, hop on over to my brown recluse bite video. I'll attach it in a card somewhere up here and I'll leave it in the description below if you guys wanna see what a full envenomation from a brown recluse looks like. Is that not the freaking hugest brown recluse you've ever seen? That is a big spider. This is one of the largest ones I think I've ever seen. So this is an adult female, hefty, hefty brown recluse. As you can see, not aggressive, not even really trying to get away. She's kind of captured. She feels kind of safe in this little test tube here. What a spectacular spider. Now they, in the wild, we could primarily find them how we found them here in these kind of barked trees that have a lot of space in between the bark here. And uh, what they do is they'll actually live under this bark and they're actually hunting oftentimes other spiders, uh, but they eat a variety of other invertebrates. They're invertebrate specialists, so they leave this kind of netted webbing. You can kind of see that here. 
where it's kind of like kind of a wider patch and then just kind of like thin layer of webbing over here. And so they're hunting by feeling stuff moving and then they kind of scurry out, they see what it is and then they hunt it. But wow, isn't that an interesting spider? Shall I put it on my hand? Oh, look at that. Is that not a spectacularly big brown recluse? Hey, cutie. Oh, now a lot of people are afraid of brown recluse because of those kind of wives' tales and myths. Um, but she actually really can't bite me uh, just normally. Um, her chelicerae are really fragile and her fangs are also fragile as well. And her chelicerae are fused together. So she has a hard time actually biting through um, human skin. But take a look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Is that not a big brown recluse? She's like, oh, what is all this hair? That's strange. I know you're being, you're, you're starting to get a little hyperactive because now she feels the wind on her. She feels a little more exposed than she felt in the test tube. So she's starting to kind of freak out. But this is a big gravid female. As you can see, uh oh. Not really a spider that's interested in, you know, hurting somebody or, or, being aggressive in any manner of speaking. But in fact, just another organism that we need to learn to respect and we need to learn to leave them be as their own parts of their own ecosystems. Such misunderstood little spiders with an ill-deserved reputation. Cause I mean, look at her, she's so sweet. She hasn't done anything to be mean to me today. Come take a look at that beautiful spider. Is that not a good looking spider right there? Nice, pretty brown, that light abdomen. Really nice. Once again, I am not in any danger. And if you wanna learn more about the bites of brown recluse, hop on over to our brown recluse bite video. But how about I put this one on my face too? You guys interested in that? I bet you are. Let's see if I can, I need to get her on my hand in a different way. In the worst way. Okay. Take a look at that. She's gonna go in my nose. Brown recluse. Ooh. Beautiful spiders, ill-deserved reputation. Harmless, really. When you boil it down, just keep your bites clean, guys. And once again, if you're interested in learning about the bites of brown recluse, hop on over to my brown recluse bite video. Really cool spiders, really terrible reputation, not as dangerous as you might think. As of course, referenced by the fact that I have a brown recluse on my face, right by my eye. And she's just chilling there. She's hanging out. I don't mind, I don't mind. I got all the time in the world to be covered in brown recluses. Take a look at that, guys. What a cool spider. Oftentimes, stuff doesn't always cooperate when I wanted to climb on my face, but she's doing pretty well. Wow, 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 wow. Look at the size of this brown recluse. Freaking huge. This so I catch it. Yep, 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 yep. So difficult to capture a brown recluse. Very dangerous animals. No. You better catch that thing. <laughs> a tyrantula from the genus Tyrantula found in Ohio. Utah and Colorado. The tyrantula is one of the largest predatory animals on earth, capable of reaching speeds of 999 miles per hour and creating sonic blasts by stridulating its chelicerae 
capable of shattering human eardrums and car windows. Tyrantula. <laughs> so just recording this super interesting group of Loxicelles reclusa, brown recluse, these juveniles seem to have their own little silk bed right next to each other, like, like separate bedrooms in a house. This is super bizarre. I've never seen anything like this. And take a look, I think this is, uh, these are some adults here still on the actual tree where we pulled this from. That is really interesting, wow. Look at that. Well, we had a great time with this little brown recluse and some of the other brown recluses that we found today. So I'm gonna let her get back to her dominion underneath these pieces of bark here. So let's see, let's let her get back onto this tree here. Oh, and there she goes back home. Really, really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Show this to your friends and your family. Let them know, hey, guess what? Brown recluse, no sweat, no biggie. It's all right. Because take a look at Jack's Little Wildlife's videos. Um, I'm always dedicated to dispelling myths about these poor, misunderstood animals because spiders and arthropods in general are super important, not only in their own ecosystems, but to our survival. Um, so really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, turn on post notifications and stay tuned for the next episode of Jack's World of Wild.